this short video gives you some suggestions on what to do if you forget a password for an app or a website. It is a BTA Club exclusive video available only to members of BTA Club. Let's get started. The topics we're going to cover in this short video include how to reset your password on a website or an app, checking for your passwords in settings, and how you can safely save passwords on your device so you're never left in limbo. Let's start with when you go to a website or you go to an app and you go to sign in, and maybe you remember your username, maybe you don't, but if you check the small print, you'll always find ways to get help. For example, if you look at the yellow arrows here, the top one on the left is pointing to the message that says incorrect password. Please try again or you can reset your password. And do you see that reset your password is underlined? That means it's a live link. And if you click there, the app or the website will send you a message via your email. But notice sometimes there are other options. Over on the right, you see the ye yellow arrow pointing to need help. So you could click there or tap there. And what's been happening in the last year or so, oftentimes you can sign into an app or a website using another account. In this case, you can sign in using Facebook. Often you will see Google is an option. Now, of course, you have to have a Facebook or a Google account in order to do this. When you get that email for resetting your password, it's really a pretty simple process. On the left of this image, you see there is a link. It says reset your password. Sometimes it will be a, a line of blue text that says reset. You simply click on the link. And when you do, Something similar to the image on the right will appear in your email. They'll ask you to create a new password and to confirm it by correctly retyping the exact letters, numbers combination. And then, of course, you t tap on continue. Now, you need to remember to record somewhere what that password is. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. Now, moving on to our second topic. Did you know that possibly your passwords are already stored on your iPhone or your iPad? What you need to do is you go to Settings and you scroll down to passwords as you see on the uh, image on the left. And when you tap on that, you will be asked to enter your iPad or iPhone passcode and the, key, the keyboard will appear as you see in the little image over on the right. Now, once you've done that, what you need to do is check to see if autofill passwords is turned on. Now you see that in this particular image it's turned on. What happens when that is turned on, when you first sign into a new website or a new app and you are doing your username and your password, you will receive a message that says, do you want to save this password? It's your choice. You can answer yes or you can answer no. If you answer yes, this is what will happen the next time you sign in. When you go to that site, up will pop a message. Do you notice here? Down at the bottom it says, 
use Merry Little Lamb at fleece.net. Obviously, that's a fake address. But if that is your username and you tap on it, what will happen is your username and your password will be automatically filled in and you don't need to worry about it. So it's an option. Some people feel very comfortable using autofill, others do not. Remember, if you turn it on, you can always turn it off. Now, while we're at the password section and settings, it's really a good idea to check compromised passwords. And that is another option to click on. And when you do, if you have any, you'll see a list of which apps or which websites have been compromised. It will tell you why. And it will give you the option to go to the website and change the password. We all know there have been a lot of data breaches, so it's just really important to check on this feature on a fairly regular basis. Now, still at the password section, when you look down at the bottom, you will see each of your apps or websites that have passwords that you have saved because autofill is on. If you tap on that particular app, in this case Acorn TV, if you look over to the right, you will see that you will see your username, your password, if there are any problems and what that problem is. Uh, it also gives you the option to delete the password. So again, it's important to familiarize yourself with these features on your iPad and your iPhone. Now, here's a suggestion as to stay ahead of the password game. Did you know that you can lock a note on the app's notes? Notes comes with all Apple devices, iPhones, iPads, as well as Macs, and you can lock an individual note. So you can list your passwords in a specific note and then lock it. And the only person that can get into that is you with the password unless you give it to someone else. Now, you've got to make a decision how comfortable, again, you are with this particular app. You may feel, well, it's okay for uh, some of my apps, but I don't want to put my financial information in here. That's okay. You need to think about it, but you can lock individual notes. This is what you do, and you have to do this first. You have to go to settings. You need to scroll down to notes. And you can see in the image it's highlighted in blue. And once you're there, you're going to tap on password. When you do that, you'll have the option to set the password. Note you can always come back and change it. You can reset it. Really suggest you choose something that you will remember, but it's not so easy that anybody else in the world could guess, like one, two, three, four, five, six. You can also do something else. You can leave yourself a hint in your Contacts app. So you simply go to your Contacts app, you add a new contact, and in the first name, you space, you write notes, and in the last name, you either write the password or you write a clue that will remind you. That way you have got kind of uh, a backup system just in case you don't use lock notes very often and you forget the password. Now, very easy to lock your note. So you've opened the notes app and you've written what you've wanted then what you need to do, again, this is the iPhone and the iPad. You look up at the top in the upper right-hand corner, and you see there's a circle with three dots. You tap on that, and this menu will drop down, 
and one of the options is lock. So you simply tap on that and that note will be locked until you unlock it with the password. So as we end this video, I would like you just to remember a couple things. First of all, don't panic if you forget a password. Websites and apps will help you retrieve the password. Sometimes you can sign in using another account like Facebook or Google. And if you have autofill turned on, your device will save your passwords for you. Now, secondly, autofill is convenient, but it is a personal choice. It may still make you nervous, and so you're not going to use it. Other people feel very comfortable with it, and they use it all the time. Remember to check for compromised passwords. And suggestion, save yourself some agony by safely saving non-financial passwords in a locked note in the Notes app. This has been a BTA Club exclusive video. We hope you will uh, check out our courses and uh, we will see you again in the club. Bye for now.